Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my quarter one favorites. So I have a few products from different categories. I've got some makeup, some skincare, some like outerwear. Um, so I've got a variety. I am going to like chapters and timestamps down below. So if there's certain areas you're more interested in, that's totally cool. And I will try to link everything down below too. So January through March is like winter wonderland where I live. So I live in Northern Minnesota um, where I still have, you know, some snow, some frozen lakes. Um, so some of the items that I am going to be talking about are going to be kind of more geared towards that cold weather, which I do realize now we're going into spring. So I'm not sure like how relevant, but like just put these things in the back of your head for next winter, you know, it'll be fine. So I'm going to start this video off with the two kind of true winter items that are like outerwear. So then we can get into everything else that could be a little bit more like applicable to any season. But first thing I want to mention are my snow boots, my winter boots. So I have had these for a season. I bought these in the fall. These are from the original Muck boot company. Um, these are fantastic for the ice. So we go ice fishing. Um, we just... I don't know, hang out on the ice. That's a weird thing to say, but we have an ice house. So it's like, it's like having a trailer or like an RV on the ice. So it's very comfortable, but like getting there, you need to be warm. So I like these boots because of the thick rubber sole. You definitely want that with the ice because even though there's ice, you can have still snow there or like layers of water if it's sunny. So you need something pretty waterproof. But why I really like these is this top part, right? So you can kind of see where the rubber ends this is a little bit more of a stretchy material as you see here it's definitely going to move with you and I have I guess you could say kind of like stumpy legs I'm short and my calves are kind of thick so these fit very well even with layers I did size up a one whole size to make sure that like my um, you know leggings and my thick socks and everything would fit in here comfortably, but having the cut here that it's kind of at a slope so my calf sits very comfortably and having that this material is very flexible, the inside is just like a lined soft type material. So it's very comfortable and I haven't had any issues. Winter boots are so hard to come by that these are a little bit more expensive, but I wasn't finding anything else that would really do the trick that were this comfortable. So I went for it and I absolutely love these. So I would highly recommend the gripping on the bottom is fantastic and um, totally worth the money that I spent on them. The other winter type thing that I wanted to shout out is my parka. So again, I live in Minnesota. Here's some clips of me on the ice with my <laughs> parka. Um, mine is from the North Face. I don't think that you need to buy from the North Face. There are so many different brands out there, but seriously having a long coat that goes my knees that I can zip up and then there's a second zipper so I can kind of give myself some more um, walking space in my legs if I want um, has been a game changer because the winter is really cold where I live right and it's really not that bad to be outside as long as I have the right equipment so having a thick parka type situation was really the game changer for me to actually enjoy the winter. So those are the two like really hardy winter items. Let's go ahead and talk about some more beauty related stuff. So I have a few makeup products here. The first one I want to highlight is a concealer. So this is from e.l.f. It is the Hydrating Camel Concealer. And I have had the regular camel concealer before, but this hydrating one I much prefer. Um, and I have oily skin and I still think that this blends better. I still think that it lays better on my skin. It has a big old doe foot applicator and I'm just a big fan. I have the shade Fair Beige, though I do think for the summertime, I'll probably purchase this again, but in a deeper shade to match my skin as I get more sun. Uh, but this is really inexpensive and it works. And I feel like it's a very generous size that you're getting. Like it's not some skinny tube that you're like, okay, I'm done with this in a month. So I just want to like say that I love this because I do. And you should definitely check it out if you're looking for a concealer. You can pick this up at a lot of different drugstores, Elf is. Um, pretty easy to find these days. The other makeup products I have are two eyeshadow palettes and they're both from ColourPop. The first one I'm going to talk about, if you've been around for the past year, you know that this is an obsession, so I'm just going to mention it again. Bare Necessities palette. If you are a neutral lover, 
you need to check this out. It comes in and out of stock on ColourPop, but it always comes back. It is a 30 pan eyeshadow palette and it just has everything. Like it has some purples, it kind of has some like orangey reds down here. It's got cool tones, it's got warm tones. I just love it. The shades in here are all beautiful. As you can see, I have markings, I wouldn't say dips, but I've got markings in a lot of these. Um, I have been doing an eyeshadow roulette. I can link that playlist for you where I roll in different shades each month to kind of focus on. And so that's helped me get to know this palette more, but this is just such a good go-to that I honestly can't imagine doing my makeup without this every day. So wanted to mention it yet again, and because it's back in stock as I'm filming this. So Hopefully you can snag it. Um, the other one I picked up in January, and this is the ColourPop Wild Nothing palette, which I think this packaging is just so adorable. It's got cactuses on it, and it's kind of like 3D, like I can feel it, which is just kind of fun, you know? Um, and this is, I would say this is a little bit more of a springtime palette, which is great because I'm planning to just roll right through and using this in the spring. But I've really enjoyed this um, and getting to know these shades. It's definitely more of like a peachier type palette, but there's this green in here that I absolutely adore. And it's not like whoa green, it's kind of like a goldeny green. So um, if you're kind of like scared of color, but you want to try something, that's like why I bought this is because I wanted to try that green, but it also has two super shock shadows, this one and this one with like the high shine there. And I never used super shock shadows before. So that's been fun to play with them. And I just think that this is a really solid palette. There's a lot of variety um, down here. You know, you've got some browns, you've got your kind of warmer stuff. So you can definitely pull this palette in different directions kind of based on what you'd like. But I think this is a winner. Um, and I, I just, I just am really loving the ColourPop eyeshadows right now. And they come out with all sorts of different collections, but these two are the two, like if I could only have two, I'd be very, very happy with just these two. You know what I mean? Like there's more that I want, but I think about them and I look at them and I'm like, well, I kind of already have shades like that. And that's a good sign to me, right? That means that I have what I'm drawn towards already and I don't have to keep buying. <laughs> I have a couple of skincare products too. So the first one I wanted to mention is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. So this is the makeup remover I've been using. And I have used, oh, I don't know, about half of it or so, maybe a little bit less or a little bit more. Um, and this is really, really nice. So it does come with like a spatula, which I found very, very helpful to just kind of scrape a little bit of product off and put it in my hands. Uh, the reason that this one stands out to me, I've used a lot of different cleansing balms, is this one is, once it gets to that oil on your hands and you're rubbing it onto your face, I use it on my dry face, it gets down to the thinnest oil I've found. I have other ones, I am um, have a mini of the, oh shoot, what's it called? The green screen, um, I also have a mini of the um, Junk Elephant one, and those ones work but they're just a thicker oil and I much prefer this thinner oil. Also, this one is cheaper, so there's that. I did write on the bottom when I started using it. I started using this December 21st um, and I still have, like I said, about half-ish left, maybe a third. Um, I don't wear makeup every single day, so I'm sure that I could go through it faster, but I think that this is really nice because I don't feel like I need so much to get everything off. So. Really, really like this. They do sell this in this size and then also a smaller size. So if you want to try a smaller size, maybe you could try that out first and decide, but really, really loving that. The other skincare product I'm loving that I'm trying to use up in my project to use it up is this Milk Makeup Mask. So this is the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. And I just am a big fan of this. I love the packaging. It is in a stick formula or package so that you can just, um, you know, draw it all over your face. It's very easy on the skin. Um, it is a little bit of a clay base, but not like the type of clay that's just going to suck everything out of your pores. Like it doesn't dry down like that. Um, it's a, like a hydrating clay, if that's even a thing. I just really, really like this. Um, I am trying to use it up because I've had it open for a while and because it is a little bit more exposed in that stick format. Um, I just want to make sure I'm using it before it crumbles, but it's very creamy on the skin. Like it does not drag on my skin at all. If it were to drag, I wouldn't be as into this as I am, but 
really, really like that. Um, I believe that other brands are starting to kind of mimic this with um, their own masks and packaging and stuff. But I just, this one I'm sold on, but I haven't really tried other ones either. So maybe that's not fair to say that's the only one for me, but I do certainly like it a lot. Okay, I've got two body care items that I want to talk about, and the first one is a scrub. So this is from a Etsy brand called Kana Soapworks, and this is like a exfoliating body wash. So it does have little scrubby bits in it, but it's not like as harsh as a tree hut scrub, which I really like that. If you like want to slough off some skin and just get nice and smooth, that's a great scrub for that. This is different. So this is like a maintenance scrub for me. I use it once or twice a week. It's very, very hydrating. And when I step out of the shower, I don't feel like I need to put on lotion immediately. So I do quite enjoy this for daytime showers, especially when I know like I'm gonna need to get dressed pretty quickly after my shower. Um, so it just comes in a jar like this. It's a pretty thick consistency. I mean, it's you have to like scoop it to get it but it smells amazing. This is the Vanilla Bee Noel, which smells exactly like Bath & Body Works, but there's fruity scents, there's fresh scents. I really like the avocado. Is it avocado salt or just avocado? I don't know, it's super fresh. It's not like overpowering in any direction. I just love that one, but this one's good too. It's been fun to use for the winter. I go through one of these about every three months with the type of usage I use, like I said, once or twice a week. So I do think it's good value and I'm getting a lot of use out of it. And I just really, really love that. So there you go, you're welcome. And the other body care product I wanna mention is my favorite winter body lotion. So this is from the brand Alba Botanica. You can find this at Target and online at a lot of different places. I have the Coconut Rescue one, but there are different kind of scents. The line that you're looking for though is the very emollient body lotion. So there's unscented, there's um, this kind of coconut one, and I believe there might be like, maybe like a aloe or something like that. All very light scents, like if you wanna, have a lingering scent, this probably isn't the product for you, but for dry skin, this is phenomenal. So what I like about this is it's not super oily of a lotion, as in, have you ever put on a lotion and then you feel slimy afterwards, like actual like slimy? That doesn't happen with this. So this is very rich, but it sinks in. So, you know, you give it a minute. What I'll typically do, like I put this on um, usually at bedtime every night. So I'll put it on my legs first. Um, and I work up my body. So by the time I'm done rubbing it into my arms, my legs are completely dry and they're not like still sucking in the product. They're, they're there. So I just really like this. I would definitely recommend this is a big size. This is 32 ounces. Um, and I feel like it's a good bang for your buck. It's not super expensive. So definitely check this out. If you have drier skin, you probably would like this year round. Um, I just, I don't know. This is my favorite. I've used this in years past and I was having a lot of dry patches this past winter. And I said, you know what, let me go get this again and see if this helps. And it totally did. So um, yeah, I started working on this on the 14th of December because I wrote it on the back and I'm still working on it in March. So the next thing I want to talk about is my necklace. So this is one of them and then I have another one, but the brand of necklace is what I love. So here's a little demo for shot, right? <laughs> and here's another one I have. Um, this one is kind of like a chevron with the um, like sparkles there, but you can also wear it on the back with just a gold and the same with this one it has sparkles on that middle triangle but I could also wear it the other way it's just gold on the back anyway that's one reason why I like it is that they are kind of like reversible I don't know if they're really marketed as being reversible but I've found that there's no I mean they're plenty shiny there's no markings on the back side so bonus but anyway why I want to talk about them is this is from the brand called layers by the way and I found these at the local like general store, you know, with like all the cute different hand soaps and and printed towels and stuff like that. I found these there. Um, so I need to figure out where you can purchase these online. I really don't know, but I'll try to link them down below. Why I like these is because you have this nice long chain and at the end you have this little kind of like washer and then the two, you know, strings of the chain. And so it's completely customizable on how long you want the necklace to be. So you can wear it like as a choker, you know, closer up, you can wear it like medium length here, I can wear it longer. And I think that's really nice to have 
a necklace especially that is versatile because I know when I wear different cuts of shirts like this is a v-neck shirt so I might want to wear this necklace a little bit further down because I have some more chest showing but if I have something that's higher up on my neck maybe I want it to be longer maybe I want just a variety of things it's nice to have one necklace that can do it all and it's reversible so like bonus it's like getting two necklace designs in one <laughs> Um, but they have different colors. I mean, I have two gold necklaces, but they do have a like sterling silver type option. There's different designs. The brand also has earrings that I have a pair of. I believe I saw some bracelets there too, but I just think that the necklaces are the standout. I've gifted one of these and I have two of them and I can't stop wearing them. I also think that these designs are kind of like a minimalistic chic. Like they're not over the top, it's just enough to kind of add something special to your outfit without being like, whoa, she's wearing like a giant necklace with all these colors. I just, I don't know, I'm really into the design of them and thought that I would mention them. Something else that I have really been loving this past winter is my metal coffee cup. So this is one that I got in Alaska at a distillery, the Anchorage Distillery. I went to Alaska in 2019. It was amazing. I highly recommend that you go. Um, but anyway, I don't think that you have to have the one from Anchorage Distillery. But if you're there, you should go check them out because they have amazing gin. Anyway, Yeti makes some of these. Arctic is kind of like the knockoff brand, but these are really nice to keep your coffee or tea warm, especially on the cold mornings. I'm someone that makes a cup of coffee and then I'm just going to sip on it for probably four hours before I finally finish it. I don't like chug back coffee. I typically just have one a day. So I like this because it keeps my coffee pretty warm because it is the double lined like steel, just like a cold cup would be, but this is for a mug. So it keeps my coffee warm. This one came with a really nice lid that um, has like a mouthpiece and then the cover, which I do like because I can put the cover there and I think that it keeps it even warmer, right? Instead of having it open and just letting the heat you know, come out. So I like that also for like going up and down stairs. I know that I've got a lid. I mean, it's not like screwed on tight. It's just kind of like a pop on lid, but it's better than no lid, right? So by going up the stairs kind of fast, I know I've got something to block any sort of splashes that might be happening. But yeah, this is the coffee mug I've pretty much used exclusively for the past year. And I definitely think this would be like a great gift for really anybody, any kind of person that likes warm beverages. I know Mother's Day and Father's Day is coming up in the United States, so I don't know, maybe this is a good idea, but I certainly have loved this and really appreciated the, you know, value it's added that I don't have to keep reheating my coffee or just abandon my coffee. The last item I want to talk about is a hair tool. So this I got off of Amazon and it comes in this little case. I will link it down below. I have started to travel just a little bit more um, for work and then I also have like a personal trip coming up. And this is what I like to bring. Um, so backstory, I used to travel for work like every single week. Um, and so, you know, when you're constantly living out of a suitcase, you get really good at figuring out what's a need and what's a want and like how to pack and all that. So when I saw this, this was a total game changer. So this is my like mini heat styling tool. So it just has a normal plug-in, right? And it does have a clamp on it for curling your hair. Of course, you don't have to like use it. It has um, a little port here for you to pinch. So if you're holding it um, in your hair, you know, you have a spot to go. But the best part of this is that I have my on off switch on the top and on the bottom, I have a lock and unlock. So it turns into a straightener as well. Genius, absolutely genius. I know that you can technically like curl your hair with a straightener, but I'm not like, I'm not coordinated enough to get the hang of it, so I like to have an actual curler. Um, I like to straighten my hair one day, and then like the next day with dry shampoo, when it's kind of wavy, I might like curl it, but just having both options, it all heats up together, so you don't have to like decide when you're plugging it in which way you're gonna go with your hair yet, but I just think this is genius, and I love telling people about it. I got all my coworkers to buy one of these that um, you know heat style their hair because they have the same struggle, like packing a curling iron and packing a flat iron, like that gets to be a lot of weight in your bag, especially if you're checking it or even more if you're doing carry on and you have to like put it up in the overhead bins. This is a lot easier. Um, I do keep it in the carrying case. You certainly don't have to, but I just find that makes packing a little bit easier. And it reminds me when I'm in the hotel to pack it because I have this like bright pink thing 
staring me in the face and I've never left it anywhere, obviously. So that's going to wrap up my quarter one favorites. The last favorite is you guys. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate that you take some time out of your day to hang out here. Um, let me know down below what you'd like to see from me video wise in the next quarter, I guess. You know, I have kind of a few running, uh, I guess, series or like different things that I do on my channel, but I always have space to add in some other things. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below, but that is going to be it for this video. And again, I really appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.